Hey guys, so this is our database model that I have created. So we have three tables, um, user, polls, and poll options. So user, as you can see, the basic stuff, um, the username, email, password, and confirm. In the polls, we have the ID. So this is generated ID, the name of the poll, and the user ID. So over here, the poll is a one-to-many relation with polls. So user is having a one-to-many relation with polls. So this is going to be a many to one relation back to user as well and over here the same thing with the poll options you have the text that is the uh, text of what the poll option text is and the words and how many words does the poll option has and the poll id so that means this is a one to many with poll options from polls and back to many to one relation with polls so we'll create these two entities in our um, server so let's start by creating a new module let's call it a uh, poll so we'll use the next cli next generate module poll so now a new um, folder has been created for us um, so here in our app module this has been imported polar module and poll module has been created for us let's create a new file poll.entity.ts Let's copy the user entity so it's quite similar. Let's remove this entity name. Change this entity name to poll. And this needs to be, let's make it a, a, a number now rather than UUID. So it will be easy for us to debug. And we need to change this to a name. So this needs to be a text as well. In our columns, what we need to say is we need to create as you see in your user ID. So we have to say it's a one to many relation with polls. So we will define that in our user.entity first. So we will say it's a one to many, so one to many relation. And we are connecting with the poll. So we'll say poll over here. And what we're returning is a promise of array of polls. Let's input poll over here, and it's a one-to-many relation. So we need to say what we are returning. So we are returning a poll, and we also need to say how to what we are connecting. So let's define that uh, many-to-one relation in our poll dot entity. So we'll say we are connecting with our entity by a many-to-one. So poll is a many-to-one relation with user entity, and user has a one-to-many relation with poll. So we'll say in our entity this is a many to one relation. Many to one relation. And what we are returning is a user with uh, let's say let's make it a promise. We are returning a user. Let's import that as well. So here we'll say we are returning a user. And what we are connecting is to our user entity. So user and user we're connecting with the poll over here so we'll do the same thing in our user.entity so what we are connecting is to the poll and how we are connecting is poll dot the user and also what we need to do this is just it's temporary if you want you can do it let's say join column we'll just add join column so we need to create this user id column as well and also another thing is we are actually importing this user entity in our poll module as well so we need to say in our user module that we need to export this user repository so let's export this let's change this to exports so because we are importing this user entity over here we need to export this in our user module and we will be importing that user module in our imports so imports user module so now we can use this user entity in our uh, poll module and also we are using this uh, poll entity as well so similar to our user repository let's copy this over let's create a new file called poll.repository.ts Space that in, and this needs to be a uh, poll. 
because we are creating a whole repository and code over here and we need to import this as well in our imports so type or module dot for features and you it's whole repository so it should be we need to specify over here this should be a whole repository Back in user, I mean back in pull modules, we say pull repository. Yes, and I think that's it for our connection. So let's try to start our server. Let's start there. Let's see if there's an error occurring or not. I guess it seems like everything is going fine now. So let's take a look in our database. So PSQL voting app select start from users. So now there seems to be no other change in our users. Now we'll take a look in our another table called pool. So now you can see our three you know, columns has been created for us: ID, name, and user ID. So ID, name. And the user ID. So this is created because we have set at join column. So what it generates is gener it generates a user ID in our table. So next, that thing, the thing that we need to connect is our pool options as well. So let's create another entity. So I don't think we need to create another module for our pool options. It's because it's an options for our poll, so we'll just create the entity right under our poll module. So let's create, let's say, poll options. Let's make it poll option dot entity dot ps. Let's copy this poll entity thing over. This poll options. Let's take a look. We need ID, text, words, and poll ID. So ID, text. So this needs to be text. So words will be a number. Let's make it an integer. What we need to define in our whole entity is we are having a one-to-many relation with um, pool option. So let's copy this one-to-many relation over here. Pool entity. So it's a one-to-many relation with pool options. Let's make this option. Let's change the Positive name over here to pool options. Okay, so when back in our pool entity, let's call this pool option. Pool option. So how we'll connect this? We'll what we need to do is back in our. So we'll call it pool. So for, we are connecting it to um, pool option repository. So let's create um, um, one many to one relation over here first. So many to one relation. So it's already copied over, I guess. So we're connecting it to pool. Say um, we are connecting to seems to be pool and a pool dot entity and too many relation with pool I pool option. So 
let's say the connection to we need to change this to um, we are connecting it to pole and in a pole option we are connecting it to pole options so that is it for our antenna connection so for recapping what we did is um, um, we created a new entity called poll options and we added the field ID um, column another column is text uh, the column is words and it's in integers and it should be a number and in our poll dot entity we created a one to many relation with poll options and what we are returning is uh, an array of poll options and how we are connecting is with, with the um, so we need to say poll options over here to whom you are connecting with. So this is the poll option for better understanding. It doesn't matter what we call here. Just we just need to specify the <coughs> thing that we say over here. Just for better understanding, we change this to poll options. Poll options dot poll. So in our poll options, we are connecting. We are connecting to poll, um, many to one relation, and we are connecting with the poll options um, column over here. And so that's and another thing is we are also importing this poll and poll option entity. So we need to say in our poll module as well, we are using this entity as well. So. I think it should be imported like uh, it's, we need to create a new repository for a poll entity, poll option entity. Let's create so rather than um, I guess rather than creating a new file, we just create let's copy this entity over zoom this up into Pool option change the opposite name to pool option. Let's see over here pool option. And back in our pool module, we we'll say pool repository and pool option repository. Okay, so let's try to start our server again. So it's already been started. So let's go back and take a look in our database. So, so we'll select poll, the same thing. Now we'll select poll option. And I can see ID text. So we can take a look. So ID text votes and the poll ID has been created for us. So this poll ID is generated because we are specifying the join column. Take a look in the type ORM uh, documentation where we specify the join column. Um, if you specify the join column, the code will create a category ID column in the database. If you want to change the name on the database, you can specify join column. You can separately specify the name, or else you say the join column, it generates category id so that is what has been generated here if we say poll the poll id gets generated so that is it guys for our video for today video for today thank you guys for watching